Lopez. Why didn't you give her the security deposit back? There's uh, pictures, Your Honor, that I have of doors that were damaged and taken off the hinges. I moved in with one daughter. She was 16 years old at the time. The daughters would come to the door dressed seductively. Your Honor, they would bend over and show the tattoos on it. What? One of the daughters, she has a perfect derriere, and so does my wife. I've been my wife for 17 years, and we have great sex together, Your Honor. Wait, but she minute. tried to use me. Wait a minute. I'm here on a security deposit case. What are you talking about? There's only one person who decides the truth here. I do. I went to law school to fight for causes that I believed in. I tell it like it is. Take that phone to another dog. I was a judge for 15 years. I've seen it all. El que lo hace, lo paga. You did it, you're paying. I came to this country as a little girl from Cuba. Talk about the American dream. I am the American dream. Katora Blackman Harris is suing her former landlord, Jacques Chevalier for $2,550 for triple her security deposit. Katora claims Jacques was a sleazy landlord who made shoddy repairs, sexually harassed her daughters, and then pocketed her security deposit. So she says Jacques owes her three times the original amount she paid. Jacques argues Katora's daughters tried to seduce him by flashing their tattoos and claims Katora's whole family trashed the apartment so he doesn't owe her a dime. Find out how Judge Maria Lopez rules in the case of The Leering Landlord. All right, Ms. Uh, Blockmon Harris, you are suing uh, Mr. Chevalier, your former landlord, <laughs> for uh, three times your security deposit, uh, which is uh, $2,550. Is that right? That's correct. He didn't give it to you after you moved out, correct? That's correct. When did you move into his property? Uh, December 2003. When did you pay the security deposit? Um, initially, I paid $450 on move-in. And the agreement that we made when I moved in was that I would give him the remainder of the security deposit by the 15th of M March 2004, which was like a three-month period. Um, in March, I was experiencing some financial difficulties, so I explained to him that I wasn't going to be able to give him the additional $100 but I would get back on track as soon as possible. I owed him an additional 200, I believe, and $25. $225, is yes. that right? No, ma'am, those days aren't correct. It seems to me, Your Honor, the best of my recollection, it took a lot longer than that. Okay, uh, but at some point she paid you the entire security deposit. Approximately two years later, Your Honor. Two years later, you, I you have paid- I have receipts to show that I gave him $100 in January 2004, and $100 in then Jan I mean, When February. did you pay up? Uh, not until, um, 2005. Two years later? Yes. Okay, so he was right. Okay, so tell me what happened in the course of this tenancy. Um, in the course of the tenancy, well, after I explained to him that I was not able to give him additional money, nothing was ever said about additional payments of the security deposit until May of 2005 when he attempted to give me a request for a rent increase. Um, after I reviewed the increase, I noticed that it was above the ceiling for DC and I gave him a call. It was only two dollars per month above the ceiling rate. However, it was above the ceiling rate. When I gave him a call, he uh, was very upset with me. He said I was very petty because it was only two dollars. But he came and amended it. But when he came to amend it, it's when he presented me a demand letter for the remainder of the security deposit. Okay. Um, during my tenancy there, I came to learn that that's Mr. Chevalier's way. He retaliates for everything that you do. All right, but you, but you owed it. Right? I owed it. I, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I okay, owed it. Okay, fine. So okay. what happened then? You get a 30-day notice to quit, quit for, because right. you had paid your security deposit. Yes. And uh, did you go to court on that? I contacted the D.C. Office of Regulatory Affairs, and they told me that he could not use that site to recoup that money because the regulation stated that it had to be within a 60-day period did or you a get six month period of time okay and uh, is that right then you were there any problems with the apartment there was a leak in the ceiling which I had mentioned to mr. Chevalier and the court ordered him to repair before I think they gave him like two weeks to get it fixed okay how did you how did you get along the two of you um it was a difficult relationship because um, Mr. Chevalier has a habit of discussing other tenants' business and gossiping with the tenants. Are you a gossip? Uh, absolutely not, Your Honor. I'm not yet able to give my defense yet. 
Okay, what is your defense? Well, Your Honor, I'd like to say uh, that Mrs. Katura Blackman Harris did rent a place for me for about three years from the very beginning. She didn't pay the rent on time, couldn't pay the security deposit, took two years. I would go over sometimes to make repairs, to pick up the rent. Her daughters would come to the door dressed seductively. As a matter of fact, uh, they would, a lot of times, Your Honor, they would bend over and show the tattoos on it. What? Yes, indeed, Your Honor. Wait, what do you say? Uh, that they tried to seduct me. And it, right. Did he uh, say or, that, Pete? Did he say that, that word? Said yes. In you a know what? Law? You really ought to know better that you can't say those okay. kinds of things. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. on, their, on their breasts and their dirty ears, Your Honor. And That's I'll admit, better. That one, get, one that of the daughters, in fact, Your Honor, one of the daughters, uh, I'll are parfait derriere, which means she has a perfect derriere, and so does my wife. I've been my wife for 17 years, and we have great sex together, Your Honor. Wait but she minute. tried to use me. Wait a minute. I'm here on a security deposit case. What are you talking I'm about? I'm saying that she tried to use her daughters to seduce me, Your Honor. I'm a mostly happily married man, Your Honor. How old are your daughters? <laughs> you have daughters, ma'am? I, when I moved into the apartment, I moved in with one daughter. She was 16 years old at the time, and she was very uncomfortable with Mr. Chevalier coming Why? into the apartment because he has made lewd and remarks to her, and he brings in, when he comes to make repairs, he does not bring licensed contractors. He brings drug addicts and alcoholics from the neighborhood to make shoddy, substandard repairs. Your Honor. Do you try and seduce her daughter? Your Honor, that's absolutely false. There's no law saying you have to have licensed contractors. I try to Listen, I employ... wasn't asking you okay. about the licensed I've contractor. never made any type of passes whatsoever to her daughters, Your Honor. I have a great uh, relationship with my wife who I've been together with for 28 years, Your Honor. You said you were a mostly happily married man. Anybody tells you they're perfectly married is probably lying, Your Honor. Now, back in the day, I used to be a player. Now I'm a happily married man. I'm a payer. You're you know, a pay? I'm a payer. You're that's a right. Oh, you used to be a player. Now and you're now, a payer. Now I'm a payer, you know. Okay. And, and that's right, Your Honor. And, uh, you know, back during the day, I was flirtatious. That's, that's no lie, Your Honor. And I would tell the women that I'm black during the day and French after hours. <laughs> All and, uh, right. And, and they could call me Noir Francais Miseur, which means the black French. Here's my point. Were you being, being inappropriate with her daughter while they Never, were Never, Your Honor. How else would I know that her daughters have tattoos on their breasts? and their derrieres if they didn't bend over and show them to me. They would sometimes wash their car out front, Your Honor, and they would get, take the water and spray all over their bodies, just like they do in the movies and on the commercials. And I believe that Mrs. Katura Blackman was trying to use her daughters to seduce me, to blackmail me. They had my wife's home phone number. They had my home address. She's brought a rent to my residence on a couple of occasions. She's she what? has two grown daughters that she didn't mention, that one is about 28 and the other is about 30. And, and again, Your Honor, they, they're nice-looking women. I'm not going to take that. And she's a nice-looking lady. Uh, but you know, the thing is, I'm about the money. I'm not about the honey, Your Honor, when okay. it comes to my rent. Coming up on Judge Maria Lopez. I understand you have your daughter here with you. I do. And uh, could we have her daughter come out? What's her name? Kalila. Is this one of the daughters? That's the daughter, Your Honor, that uh, has the parfait daddy ass. If you want to quit smoking, today's your day. Commit cherry lozenges. The tasty way to quit smoking. Mouth sore? Here's a breakthrough. Protect and relieve that sore with Aurogel mouth sore discs. Like a dissolving medicated bandage, Aurogel relieves and protects for hours, allowing your sore to heal. Stop hurting. Start healing. Aurogel. Alex Klein is a real Geico customer, not a paid celebrity. So to help tell his story, we hired that guy who does those funny sound effects. My car was totaled over a thousand miles from home. <laughs> so I called Geico. <laughs> and in less than 10 business hours, I got a check for a new car. <laughs> Geico, real service, real savings. <laughs> For adventure. I just want to be first in a place nobody's ever been. There's something in the water! Everybody in the But found something else. This is definitely a predator. The cave. Tonight at 8 p.m. on My 20. 
Cox Communications brings you Dollar Days. For one week only, get Cox Digital Services for $1 each. That's digital cable, high-speed internet, and digital phone, all for only $1 each for the first month. That's crystal clear digital cable with three tiers for just $1. That's lightning-fast Cox high-speed internet for just $1. And that's unlimited reliable phone service for just $1. With savings like these, you can afford all your holiday shopping. Call now to save big this holiday season. Hurry, Cox Dollar Days ends November 30th. <laughs> Scrubs today at four on My Twenty. Katora Blackman Harris is suing landlord Jacques Chevalier for three times the security deposit she claims he won't return. Jacques argues Katora was an irresponsible tenant who paid rent late and damaged her unit, so he's not paying her anything. I understand you have your daughter here with you. I do. And uh, could we have her daughter come out? What's her name? Kalila. Kalila Harris. Is this one of the daughters? That's the daughter, Your Honor, that uh, has the parfait derriere. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tell me about your experience with uh, your former landlord, Kalila. He harassed me since the day I been, got to the apartment. He told me about my body. He told me he'll leave his wife for me. I will ignore him. Wait a minute. He was being, how old are you? 26. 26. Mm -hmm. And he was coming on to you? Yes. What did you call her before? I would always call her by her name, Khalil. The uh, parfait derriere was something that me and the fellows in the neighborhood would kind of say behind their backs, you know? Right, which is but, a per perfect derriere. Right, 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 around perfect, the fellows. Perfect, but I would always address her end. and her three children by the names. All the names begin for K. Yeah, and wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Is that what you do? I mean, call, when you see women, attractive women, you start talking about their body parts? No, ma'am. They would seduce me. They came, house would I know? Ask her to show the, bre the tattoos on her breast and the small of her back. Well, I mean, you know, come on, you don't go around showing guys that unless you're trying to seduce them. And that's exactly what she did. She's in you court. Know, you're misinterpreting How would I know that? Excuse me, you're misinterpreting something. Nowadays, women dress all sorts of different ways, and there's all kinds of different styles, and just because sometimes it may be appear to be a little seductive, it doesn't allow you to start commenting or harassing them for I've it, never okay? done that, Your Honor. She, if that Obviously case, you have, because since you got in here, all you've been doing is talking about the tattoos and the body parts of uh, the plaintiff's daughters. That's all you've done. Well, you've Your got Honor, all kinds of names for their body parts and what they look like, and you know what? That's sexist. The, they put it on display, Your Honor. If I was such a bad landlord, why would they stay there for three years? Why would she stay with the increases? So this is just an all a fabrication because, Your Honor, in effect, what they're trying to do is to blackmail me for this security deposit and closing. I like to say, Your Honor, that in fact they're not doing any money. They make uh, uh, damages to the unit. I detailed those. Okay, we'll get invoice. to that. We'll get to that. Okay. Yes, you, Your Honor. You said you you have a video of something. What do you have there? Yeah, I have a video that he gave my mother to show his involvement in politics and community affairs, but at the end it shows his character as being a flirt. Oh, his character yes. is being a flirt. Mm -hmm. Now I, I see it in person, mm -hmm. now I have to see it in video? Mm -hmm. Please. I mean, he's obviously a flirt. Please. Uh, but let's Former look at the honest. video. Let's see what video you've got. Do you know what this video is about? Yes, I know what the video is about. Why did you give her this video? It was a, uh, it was a video about different newscasts, because her and I used to speak frequently, and she wanted to ask me if I would give her some copies of the newscast. In the end, there's a comedy tape that I did, which is on here back in 1988, before I ever got married, Your Honor. Okay, let me see this. This is, <laughs> who's this? Comedy. Is that you? Yes, in 1985. <laughs> oh, because you, know, you had uh, short hair, a beard, dark hair. There you go. Okay, now a close-up, I see. What were you doing this for? It was just a comedy. It was for my birthday. I had turned 30 years of age in 1985, and after I made that, the place went out of business. And why did you give it to her? She asked me, I told her, I said, I had a comedy tape, and, and, and again, there's nothing inappropriate on there. I just want you to look at it for a laugh. Because I, I believe you should always laugh at yourself first before you laugh at anyone else, Your Honor. When Judge Maria Lopez returns. There's uh, pictures, Your Honor, that I have of doors that were damaged and taken off the hinges. What are the pictures? I have not seen those pictures, okay, Your let, Honor. Okay, let her, let her see those pictures to see if that, those are pictures Your of Honor, with the No, no, keep your mouth shut now. Yes, ma'am. Is that your apartment, ma'am? 
This does not look like my unit. This closed caption sponsorship brought to you by... Net Zero gives you the fastest surfing available over dial-up and virus protection starting at $9.95. Try it risk-free for 30 days with our money-back guarantee. Want the new, clean, and easy way to get rid of that cold sore fast? Think fast. Think Abriva, the new Abriva pump. Other products just soothe. Abriva goes deep in the skin to help heal cold sores from the inside out. Think fast. Think new, the new Abriva pump. In the new Centrum Silver, I help natural cell repair. We, with our higher levels, we help natural cell repair. My mistake. I mean, our mistake. New age-adjusted Centrum Silver. Doug Support Group puts the blame on Carrie. Your anger makes me eat. What? <laughs> Tonight at 7 on My 20. Some people say personal injury law is all about the money. Well, they're right. It's about money to restore a young girl's face scarred by a drunk driver. It's about money to help a dad learn to walk again after a careless driver nearly killed him. Money for a single parent injured in a car accident and unable to work. Yes, to Ashcraft and Jarrell, it is about the money. Money to help people salvage a decent life from the wreckage of another person's carelessness. If you've been hurt, call us, Ashcraft and Jarrell. Before I started um, school, I was a cashier. I had no idea where my future was going. I think it was the best decision I have ever made. And now I'm, I'm making very good money. Very, very good money being a licensed massage therapist. If she can do it, you can do it. Pick up the phone and call right now and start on the road to a rewarding career and a better life. So call. Call Everest for a brochure now at 1-800-731-4403. That's 1-800-731-4403. This holiday, show you care. By sharing your gifts with the Washington area's neediest families. Join Fox 5, My 20. CBS radio stations, Giant Food and the Washington Post. For Stuff a Truck 2007, we're collecting for the Capital Area Food Bank. Friday, December 14th from 5 a.m. till 11.30 p.m. at these giant locations. Bring your non-perishable food items. Meet celebrities, hear live music. And make someone's holiday so much brighter. Stuff a Truck 2007, Friday, December 14th. On December 12th, Here, fat boy, I wrote it, you bring it! Comes the freshest. All she wanted was for some dude to give her mother a compliment. Was her mama fine? Fattest. Nice tights. Tell your mama. Flyest. So what y'all think? Sounds like a spiritual, it's like an old spiritual boss. Oh yeah, that's so spiritual. Funniest Christmas movie of the year. I'm not cleaning that up. The Perfect Holiday, rated PG, December 12th. On the next Judge Maria Lopez. She says her maintenance man sold her a heater that left her in the cold. This was when we had that terrible cold spell, and I was desperate for heat. You know, she have a lot of garbage in front of the unit. Your apartment cluttered with garbage, ma'am? Next, Judge Maria Lopez. Are you in a legal dispute with a friend, neighbor, or relative? If you and the other party are willing to settle your dispute in Judge Maria Lopez's court, call 1-866-MARIA-12. Katora Blackman Harris says her former landlord, Jacques Chevalier, harassed her daughters and withheld her security deposit. Jacques insists he kept Katora's deposit because she wrecked the apartment. Now, we're here on a security deposit. You, you're asking for three times your, the security deposit yes. you paid. Why didn't you give her the, secu the security deposit back? Your Honor, as stated earlier, uh, the former tenant, in fact, uh, had damaged the property. I've detailed the different charges. The damages, Your Honor, were the plumbing uh, stoppages in the kitchen and, and the bathroom tub, uh, the screens that, brand new screens and windows have been placed in the, uh, put in the entire building. It's an eight unit building that has 39 windows. She had damaged the screens from her grandkids and her, her uh, okay. daughter's children messing up the screens. There's uh, pictures, Your Honor, that I have of doors that was damaged and taken off the what hinges. What are the pictures? May I? The damages. And, and uh, this is also a, a copy of the uh, bill of damages, a statement of the damages uh, regarding she was a heavy smoker. It took me uh, three cleaning cycles to get the smoke uh, uh, residue from the carpet that uh, had to okay, be cleaned. Okay, let me, let me just say, so these, there were, were there problems, were there, da were there damages to doors and uh, screens? May I address his claims, Your Honor? Yes. Okay, as far as the plumbing charges are concerned, 
there were no stoppages in the kitchen or sink, and I have pictures of the bathroom, bathtub drain. Okay, I want to ask you, though, I have pictures here that show that the, uh, there were uh, damages to windows and window screens and damages to the kitchen uh, door and bedroom door uh, and to a closet door. I were have... Were damages done, me? No. I have not seen those pictures, Your okay, Honor. Let, let, her, let her see those pictures to see if that, those are pictures Your of Honor, her. No, no, those. keep your mouth shut now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Is that your apartment, ma'am? I don't believe so, Your Honor. I have pictures of some of these same items from my apartment that I took when I was moving out, and these certainly do not look like, this does not look like my unit, the unit that I rented. It doesn't? Absolutely not. Do you have pictures of the unit you rented? I, I do. want to compare. I Let do. me see. Pete, give them to Pete. Well, I, I want to see the... Uh... Well, there's nothing that I can compare here. None of this. I mean, he's taking. You have no pictures of doors or or walls here. And this doesn't okay, help it's, me out um, at all. What color was your apartment? White. White. This is white. Well, there's also blue doors. No. Or blue blue walls. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That is a crack in the door. Uh, where a little bit of the door jam was, in fact, the walls were not blue, but as a little bit of the jam was painted a previous blue. blue. Okay. That's nice. a door jam, Your Honor. Okay. The, and, Your Honor, if I may say, she just admitted at the very beginning that there were plumbing stoppages in the apartment. Then she turns right around and plumbing, say to you right. that there aren't any plumbing stoppages. During my okay. tenancy. You know what? You know what? You were there three years. You had kids there? I had my grandchildren. You had your grandchildren there. Yeah. Did, they, did they do any damage at all? No, like all calm, like most kids do? No. Your kids didn't? Do any damage Fingerprints at Fingerprints on the walls was the maximum. Okay. Were you a smoker? Yes, I was. And did the apartment have to be repainted and whatever because of three years of smoke? After three years, however, he rented, He knew I was a smoker and he did not rent it as a non-smoker. So it was unit. reasonable wear and tear is what you'd say. Absolutely. When we come back, Judge Maria Lopez will render her verdict. Promotional consideration provided by... As a nutritionist. I'm impressed that Eggland's Best provide vitamin E, lutein, and omega-3. Eggland's Best. Better taste, better nutrition, better eggs. Millions of Americans use head-on. Try head-on. If you're not 100% satisfied, we will give you your money back. We will give you your money back. I don't have time to worry whether my home smells fresh and clean. And since I heard about Airwick Freshmatic Ultra, I can rest easy. It automatically sprays a fresh burst of fragrance every 9, 18, or 36 minutes, so it's always working. <sighs> and now when my husband takes his sneakers off, this Freshmatic Ultra has a button for an extra burst of freshness whenever I need it. That's a centipede for you. Airwick, it's good to be home. Also look for more discreet Airwick Freshmatic Mini. I was overweight and it was so embarrassing. Then I tried HydroxyCut, America's number one selling weight loss supplement. And I lost 27 pounds in just eight weeks. I'm Dr. John Marshall. I lost 29 pounds and five and a half inches off my waist using HydroxyCut. I strongly recommend it, both as a new doctor and someone who used it with fantastic results. Lose up to four and a half times the weight than with diet and exercise alone. Thanks, HydroxyCut. I feel like a new woman. Get yours at HydroxyCut.com and stores everywhere. When you suffer from restless leg syndrome, your legs don't want to stop. Even when you do. Annoying sensations can keep you up at night when all you want to do is get some rest. Fortunately, there's Mirapex. Mirapex is a prescription medicine that helps relieve the frequency and severity of many RLS symptoms. Call 1-888-809-7077 for a free RLS guide with information on Mirapex and a money-saving offer. Prescription Mirapex may cause you to feel drowsy or fall asleep during normal activities such as driving, or to feel faint or dizzy when you stand up. Tell your
Your doctor if you experience these problems. If you drink alcohol or taking medicines that make you drowsy, or if you experience increased gambling, sexual, or other intense urges, other side effects include nausea. Call 1-888-809-7077 today to get your free guide and talk to your doctor about Mirapex and RLS. Because when your legs feel better, you feel better. On the next Judge Maria Lopez. Her maintenance man sold her a heater that left her in the cold. And I was desperate for heat. Next, Judge Maria Lopez. Would you like to see Judge Maria Lopez in person? If you'd like to be a member of the Judge Maria Lopez audience, just call 1-866-AUDIENCE. And now, back to the case of The Leering Landlord. Here's the problem. You're asking for three times the security deposit. Yes. In order to be able to collect three times the security deposit, you have to show me that he acted in bad faith. Now, he acted in lots of ways uh, that may be unpleasant and, uh, you know, uh, unattractive, but I don't think he acted in bad faith. Uh, when he didn't give you his secu the security deposit back. How do you, Arne? Well, how, how, what is the bad faith? What did he do that was in bad faith? He when made he up frivolous, fraudulent charges to retain my security deposit. He was dishonest. Well, I see there's, there's something minor. I mean, you know... Those are not my pictures. Those, if you look at the pictures that I submitted, you will notice that the door hinges are attached to the wall with a nail, not a screw. Anytime you attach a hinge to the wall with a nail, okay. every time you open the door, it's going to come out. Oh, that's... A, so, so this is your apartment, ma'am. Thank uh, you. This no. is your no. apartment. I'm, okay? <laughs> because that's exactly what's there. He that's does exactly it what's there. Okay. Unit. You know what? You know what? I don't think you're telling me the full truth I either. Am. All right? No, because exactly. You pointed out exactly what he was does wrong that what he's in showing. Every it's unit. his fault. It's not you didn't cause the damage. It's his fault that he didn't properly put the hinges on the doors. You haven't shown me bad faith. I will award you one month's rent, $850. Judgment for plaintiff. Judge Maria Lopez will continue after this. Ready to redo your bathroom? You've got options. Call Empire today and we'll help you choose a beautiful acrylic bath liner with a look that's right for your bathroom. There's no need to remodel. Our bath liners fit right over your existing tub and walls. Shop at home and choose from a great selection. We install next day. You'll save with warehouse direct prices and no payments till 2009. Call now and save on the look that works for you. 800 500 Promotional consideration provided by... If you're having trouble making ends meet, you may not have enough to pay all the bills that are piling up. Call or go online now. Peachtree can turn your structured settlement or annuity into cash today. Tired of receiving monthly checks when you need a lump sum from your structured settlement or annuity? It's your money. Call Peachtree or go online to get your cash now. Life doesn't wait. Why should you? She didn't get treble damages because I, she didn't prove to me that he did it in bad faith. If he had um, actually made, dam actually personally damaged the apartment and accused her of having done it, that would be fraud. But when she acknowledged that, hey, what he does is, you know, the reason the hinges come off is because he nails them in, as opposed to screw them in, it was clear that was her door. 